one time I saw they had the, the back in the day they used to have the U.S. Classic, and that was a 15-game event. And you bowled three five-game blocks, and it was at PG, at my mother's place, Prince George's Plaza. And this guy from the military shows up, bowling in house shoes, and, and I, I, if I'm not mistaken, he picked out a couple of house balls. And his name was Dick Frechette. He was from up in Massachusetts. This guy was like the cream of the crop. Anyway, he went to walking away winning the tournament. And he's in the military, I think, in Norfolk. And he comes up, bowls in this tournament, a 15-game event, and just, just smokes everybody. <laughs> and using house shoes and house ball. I, 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 everybody's shaking their head. They couldn't believe it. But anyway, this guy was that good. When I was like 18 and 19, there was, used to be a lot more tournaments, and I had went to Rhode Island that year for like four different tournaments. Like there used to be one at Airway 32, which is a big 32-lane house, right on the airport runway, basically, in, in uh, Providence, or not even Providence, uh, War Warwick. And there was four different tournaments that year up in New England. And I'm not kidding you, Dick Frechette wins all four of them. He wins all four of them. I mean, I mean you got to be kidding me. I mean, this guy was that good. He was really that good. And, and also, when I made my first cut up north, it was in Wamasset, in Wamasset Lanes in Massachusetts, about 20 or 30 miles from Fenway Park. It was a 30-lane house, 20 duck pins, and they fell like cinder blocks. And the other 10 lanes were candle pin. And it, so they only took 20 finalists in four, five divisions of four, four guys in each division. And in my division is Dick Frechette. And I'm 18 years old. I beat him the first time I bowled him. I did beat him. I did beat him. I shot 140 or 140 something. But anyway, I beat him. And uh, that may have been the only time I bowled him in head to head. So I might have had one record because I might have been under the piece against Dick Rochette. But he only bowled a couple more years and then he just like quit. You know, I think he just quit. But he was really like, they talk about Peter Pierce up there and they talk, you know, Steve Byron. They talk about, you know, Sweet Labors from Connecticut. But Dick Rochette, Dick Rochette was like, you know, he was probably, uh, in his day, might have been more revered than Peter. Wow. And as the years went by, Peter Pierce got to be the, you know, the top gun, you know, and nobody wanted no part of Peter. And um, and then again, Connecticut was sweet labors and, and uh, stuff like that. But but over the years, I probably in the Pro Tours and all, I probably ran into all of them at one time or another. You know?